I'm going to teach you how to set up your belay device for top rope belay from below. First, I'll take my belay device on a locking carabiner, put it through the belay loop, and then take a bite of rope and push it through one side of the belay device. Then I will take the rope and belay device and push it through the gate of the carabiner and lock the carabiner. Then I'll double check that the climber strand is on top and the brake strand below so I can break down. Today I'm going to teach you how to tie in as a climber. First, I want to make sure that I have enough tail to reweave the figure eight. I'll tie a figure eight on the end of the rope and then put the end of the rope through two hard points of my harness. Pulling the figure eight tight and then reweaving. Making sure to keep my knot dressed. I want to make sure that I have enough tail in the end of the rope, which is six to eight inches. I can check that using my hand or by tying a backup knot. Before we start climbing, we'll do a safety check together. First, I want to check my harness that my belt is snug and my buckles are secure. Next, I'll look at my belay setup, make sure that the climber strand comes in on top, goes through my belay device, through the carabiner, and that the carabiner is locked. Kaylin, my harness is snug, the belt is snug, and the buckles are secure. I am through two hard points. I have a figure eight that is well dressed that is close to my harness with an adequate tail. Kaylin, that's me. Andy, blaze on. Kaylin, climbing. Andy, climb on. Off belay. Andy belay is off. 